Codium AI's Codium Mate is now available for JetBrains, which means you can install it inside your IntelliJ IDEA, just like I've installed it inside my IntelliJ IDEA here. I've already made a video on Codium AI a couple of months ago, but we were using the VS Code IDE, and some of you were asking in the comments to make a tutorial on how to get this inside the IntelliJ IDEA IDE. So in today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to install the plugin inside JetBrains IntelliJ IDEA and actually use it. So let's get started with that. To install the Codium Mate plugin, all you have to do is just click on this JetBrains button here and it should redirect you to this marketplace page here. And all you have to do is just click on install to IntelliJ IDEA and this will open up your IntelliJ IDEA and install everything for you. But if you don't have your IDE pre-installed on your system, you will see a button which says get. If you click on that, it will download a zip file, just like this one here, and then you will have to manually install it. So don't worry, I'm going to go and open up my IntelliJ IDEA and show you both of the ways of how to install this inside your IntelliJ. So for the manual way, what you have to do is you have to go to the settings option here, and then go to the plugins, and here you will have to go and click on the settings button and go to install plugin from disk. Now, all you have to do is go to where your zip file is. Let's say mine is over at the desktop. So I'm going to go and select the Codium zip here. And if you click on OK, it's going to go and install that plugin inside your IntelliJ IDEA. And after that, you will have to restart your IDE. So this was the manual way of how to install Codium Make inside your IntelliJ. But now I'm going to go and show you the easier way if you have your IDE pre-installed. And the second method to install Codium Mate inside IntelliJ is just to click here and it will pop up a window like this over at your IntelliJ and all you have to do is click OK and it will install Codium Mate inside your IntelliJ IDEA. So I already have it installed so I'm gonna go and cancel that. So let's go and actually start working with Codium. So I have this code inside my main file which I actually wanna test out. So I'm gonna go and open up my Codium Mate here. So let's actually select all of this and as you can see, line 1 to 14 is already selected. We can actually change the scope or focus from the lines to the whole main file. And we can change the mode from code block to actually ask anything from GPT just by typing here. And it actually uses GPT-4 at the backend, which is great for a free version. Although Codium Mate Agent and Workspace Mode are coming soon and they will not be available for free users. You will have to upgrade to premium to get these perks. So let's actually get started and test out our first recipe. So what if I wanna generate a unit test of this code? It might seem really difficult, but all you have to do is just click on this pre-made recipe, which is this quick test recipe here. So if you click on that, it's gonna go and generate the unit test for us. And there you go. The whole code for the unit test is now ready, which you can actually copy or insert inside any file. But that was just the testing part. What if we wanna do something else? You can add custom commands here to generate code as well. So let me show you how you can do this. So I'm going to go and generate the code for a factorial method. So let's go and do that. And there you go. As you can see, it generated the code as well. So it's not only limited to testing, but we can actually generate code as well. But what if I don't get the code instead? How can Codium Mate help in this? So all you have to do is select the block of code that you want to explain and just click on this pre-made recipe here. And within seconds, it explains everything from the inputs, the flow, and the outputs, as well as the user's example. And there's even a sample output. So you can pretty much get the explanation of any complex code that's hard for you to grasp using Codium Mate. But that's not all. Codium Mate has this amazing feature where it goes on and finds your code snippet over at GitHub. So if I select this code snippet here, if I click on Find on GitHub, it's going to go and match this with the open source wrappers over at GitHub and see whether something similar is present over at GitHub or not. So let's go and find out. I just wrote this code now and it's probably not available over at any GitHub repository. And as you can see, it could not find any similar code over at GitHub. And I must emphasize on open source because it can only assess the open source repositories. And last but not least, one of my favorite use cases with Codium Mate is the improve use case. So if I select all of this, and I click on improve, it's gonna give me suggestions what we can improve with this code. And the best part is, if you select any of these suggestions, it's gonna go and in real time generate the code for that. So let's go and do that. So if I go through the first suggestion, and I think this should be added in the reviewed code, I can just check this out. I can even preview the code changes here. 
but let's just select all the suggestions first and then let me show you the magic then you can actually prepare the code for all the changes that you just selected if i click here again it's gonna go with four changes if i click here back it's gonna go with five changes so if i click on prepare code changes it's gonna go and write the code with all the changes that is suggested to us and as you can see if i click on apply changes it's gonna go and apply all the changes inside my code so let's go and do that and there you go it actually went on and changed our code to the best way possible but let's go back to the usual code because I want to show you something really crazy. So if you click on this Codium Made icon here, this is one of my favorite features. It actually goes on and you can generate tests using this graphical user interface, selecting your test unit, as well as how many tests you want to generate. And then it will do that for you. If you click on the code explanation tab, it gives you an explanation of the whole code pre-made for you. You didn't do anything, just click on one icon, and it did all of that for you without asking. And if you go to the code suggestions, what it will do is if you click on any of these checkboxes, it's gonna go and add the code right inside this in real time. So let's go and check this one out. And you can see it's adding the suggestions here. If I click here, it's gonna go and add that suggestion. And if I click here, it's gonna go and add all these suggestions. After selecting all of this, I can actually prepare the code for that and paste this inside my file. And by far, this is my favorite and the craziest thing I noticed about Codium Made. So that was Codium Made inside IntelliJ IDEA. Today we discovered how we can manually install Codium Made inside IntelliJ IDEA, as well as how to automatically install it. And after that, we went on and explored all the major use cases that Codium Made has. And we even explored this cool hidden feature with which we can have everything prepared for you from the start. So that wraps up our video for today. If you found this video insightful, hit the like button. Share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below. Ring the notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates. Thanks for watching and we will see you in our next video where we continue to curb your skills with the latest tech. Till then, stay curious and keep exploring.